Sometimes we need to blur something in our video because we don't want to show everything to the viewer. We can blur different things like for example license plate on a car, someone's face or anything else. This is usually easy if the object is static but a little more difficult if the object is moving like that. But don't worry, I will show you how it's done. Head over to CapCut and create a new project. Import the video you want to work on and in which you would like to blur something. In my case, I will blur the face from one of these two girls. I got this stock video on website called Pexels. Now first thing we will do is copy this clip. Highlight the clip and scroll to the right on your main timeline till you see the copy icon and click on it. With this second clip highlighted, find overlay icon. Click on it and the clip will drop down. This will be our overlay clip. Now we need to drag the clip to the beginning so they are perfectly matched and then we will apply effect. Click on effect icon and then video effects. This is now library of the video effects. Let's go on lens tab and find effect called blur. Click on this effect and click it once more to adjust it. I will drag it to the maximum. What we need to do is stretch the effect to the whole length of the clip. But we still don't see our blur effect on the clip. We need to click this object icon and apply effect on our overlay clip. Now the whole clip is blurred and we don't want that. So we need to click off the clips and go one step back where we will click on overlay and select the overlay clip. Now scroll to the right till you see the mask icon, click on it and choose circle. To cover the face of the girl we need to resize the circle and you can also pull those arrows down so you smooth the edges. We now blurred the face of the girl but if we play the video you will see that this will not do the trick because the camera is still moving. So what we need to do is go to the beginning and click on mask again. And when we have our blurred positioned, we need to click on keyframe. And if we want face to be blurred all the time, we need to go forward frame by frame and every time we move the mask, it will automatically create a new keyframe on your clip. Do that process for the whole clip and when you're happy, just confirm and export the video. So this is actually how you can blur objects in your video. Let's play it now from the beginning to see how it turned out. If you liked the video, click that like button and leave the comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.